Cashless Society How China Become Mobile First Country World's Largest Mobile Economy China is leading the cashless revolution. They are trying to reveal what a cashless society means for the world moving forward. <laughs> Paying through mobile phones has become second nature for the majority of Chinese. By the end of 2021, around 903.6 million people utilized mobile payments in China, which equals roughly 64% of the overall population. In China's largest cities, residents pay on average 80% of their monthly expenditures, roughly 5,000 yuan, through mobile payment services, while in fourth and fifth tier city residents use these means for 90%, 3,000 yuan, of their monthly expenditures, according to 2021 China Union Pay Report. By the end of 2022, the accumulated digital payment value in China is set to reach 3.5 trillion USD making the country a clear global leader for digital payments, followed by the United States with 1.8 trillion USD. COVID-19 boosted online and mobile payments in China While mobile payments were already ubiquitous in China pre-COVID-19, the pandemic has been accelerating the mobile payment trend even more drastically. Lolai is a very traditional uh, offline business before COVID. More than 70% of its revenue is generated from stores offline. But during COVID, uh, February last year, as you know, all the offline stores were closed. And so Carlisle has worked together with Lolai and accelerated the launch of WeChat mini program. And this mini program basically enables all the offline stores and its sales force to use the WeChat channel and directly sells to its customers. And because of this help of this little tool online, uh, Lolai was able to recover 70% of its original offline sales in February of 2020. COVID has made people much more willing to buy from live streaming e-commerce and other platforms. And that has helped Lolai become the largest player actually in its industry in live streaming e-commerce. In February 2020, the Payment and Clearing Association of China, PCAC, launched an action to encourage mobile payment usage, online payment, and QR payment to lower the risk of infection. A huge shift was visible in payment status of all major Chinese mobile payment platforms released in March 2020. According to Zhuanlin, UnionPay handled transactions worth 1.4 billion yuan per day, an increase of 54.6% year-on-year. Alipay reported that the payment frequency around sightseeing spots has increased by 120%. Similarly, the usage of WeChat Pay in restaurants has gone up by 447% compared to March 2019. Even the number of elderly consumers has increased significantly as the only option for them to shop for food is online. The History of Mobile Payment in China In 2018, around 83% of all payments were made via mobile payment modes. China has developed differently in terms of payment methods. While most countries have switched from cash to credit cards and are now switching to mobile phones, China has skipped this step. The use of credit cards in China is sporadic, if not non-existent. Even though mobile payment is overgrowing worldwide, China leads globally with a large margin in terms of mobile payment penetration, with a total penetration rate for all forms of mobile payment sitting at 87.6% in 2021. The penetration rate of mobile payments processed via smartphone applications is 40.4% in China in 2022. How does mobile payment work in China? QR codes for paying and collecting money are prevalent in China. Even street musicians use QR codes to collect money. Unlike Apple Pay, which requires sellers to buy technical equipment to receive payments, in China, a simple piece of paper printed with the QR code is enough. Thus, mobile payment has gained such momentum in China, as it is easy, fast, and accessible to any customer who owns a mobile device.